All right, hey, what's up, you guys? I uh, just wanted to do a video type of response style uh, to it. Uh, to Edward Fisher, who left a comment about what props did I use and how did I, or what, how did I make my thugs? And uh, yeah, so I was just thinking of going over that. Right now, we're gonna go over the thugs, and then next, after this, we're gonna go over uh, props. So, for my Daredevil stop motion, uh, I'd used a Chameleon a Body, a Coulson, and a Nick Fury. Uh, right here, this is the Coulson slash Chameleon body uh, I'd used. With this, I, I'm using a Dr. Octopus from... Spider-Man 2, Sam Raimi. Uh, I think this was by Toy Biz, the head. And I was like, oh shit, he looks cool. And uh, I used hot water, took it off, and then dremeled the inside because uh, it was small, I think. Yeah, so that works. And then I repainted it because uh, uh, it kind of didn't match the neck. Uh, so yeah, that's this guy. Uh, this is the chameleon. Uh, same thing for Coulson. Uh, just that it's black and white and has the striped... Uh, uh, what is it? Tie? Yeah, tie. I forgot. Um, yeah, same thing for this one. Uh, just gave him a armrest thing. I'm forgetting what it's called. Uh, yeah. And then I painted the CM Punk figure, the head, uh, I gave him a bruised eye and a scratch here on the top and uh, redid his goatee, same, uh, repainted his face as well, and yeah. So that's these two, uh, I'd also used a Nick Fury uh, body, but for this case I'm using a bullseye, custom bullseye. Uh, for the stop motion, I used a Nick Fury, a uh, movie Nick Fury, the same one that came with Coulson and, uh, Maria Hill. Uh, so I just used, uh, Nick Fury body and then switched out the coat, this part, for, um, the Netflix Punisher, which I also did here. And then I gave him a T'Challa head from the Civil War wave uh, movie figure. So yeah, uh, basically I did the same thing and I just did it for the Punisher, I guess, uh, from the Epic Heroes wave, I think. And then I used a Lex Luthor head and sculpted a bullseye on his forehead. And I thought it looked it looked good. I don't know. Might have him go up against Daredevil in future animations. Maybe. So stay tuned, you guys. Uh, so yeah, those were from my stop motion. And then these are new ones that I made. Uh, this figure was made out of a Joker from The Dark Knight. Uh, the Movie Masters by Mattel. I think that's what they were called. And then this is a wrestling figure. I don't know who this is. I'm forgetting. I think it's Chris something. Uh, I'm not remembering his name off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, I just uh, used this head and then popped it on this body. And I thought it worked well with others. Next, I used... Uh, Finn and a Star-Lord body. Uh, this is a Star-Lord body under all this uh, jean cloth. Look. So you can see with the jetpack. Or not jetpack, but like the fucking thing. I don't know. Uh, I, the only thing I did was switched these coats, uh, jacket parts, like this was from Star-Lord and this was from Finn and I repainted both uh, 
yeah so that's pretty much it not too complicated but this head is from a WWE CM Punk uh, I think this was an elite series one yeah this one came with a black mask I think uh, I don't know what it was called specifically but he wore a black mask and a camo suit not camo suit but like camo styled trunks but yeah, uh, that's this figure, and I made these jeans out of cloth, as you can see. And then next up is this Suicide Squad Joker that I repainted and put on a blade head. Uh, repainted the sunglasses, or just the glasses, I guess, the shades. And then gave him a, ta a few tattoos here, as you can maybe hopefully see um, I don't know what I wrote. I think I redid the Joker or what I did. I don't know. And then I did a tiger that didn't come out that well. So I kind of tried to hide it with the jacket. Which was good, I guess. But, yeah, that's how I made this figure. Uh, I liked how this one came out a lot. I don't know, just the way he looks. Looks dope. Um, next is this, uh, James Wesley, I think, Wesley, from Netflix, Daredevil. Uh, I'd used, uh, what was this? The Greg Capullo series, um, Joker, Endgame, and then pop the head out, off, and put on a WWE figurehead. I don't know who this guy is. I'm forgetting his name. But I know he was in the Nexus thing group. Um, uh, with CM Punk or against CM Punk. I'm forgetting. But yeah, and then I used Edward Nigma's glasses right here. From the Gotham series figures and then I just glued these onto the sides and then that's uh, Wesley uh, not a lot of po uh, posability because you know it's a uh, DC collectibles figure so it's not or these figures don't have a lot of articulation uh, but they have good sculpt which this one does in fact so yeah this, this one's cool uh Next is, uh, no modifications to this one. This is just the Terminator, uh, the Ultimate version by NECA. Uh, great sculpt and paint onto this one. Uh, kind of use him as a biker type guy. Or like, well, like, built dude. Um, so yeah, it's cool to have. Really cool figure. Um. Yeah, I usually have them with shades, so because it makes them look more, you know, tough kind of, and less recognizable. Even though he is pretty recognizable since it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, so yeah, that's that figure. Then uh, got this Nathan Drake figure, which is a uh, cool for a background type character. Uh, oh shit, Kingpin fell. Um, but yeah. He looks good um, as a background character or as a thug because of the gun straps and stuff. Or gun holster type thing. But yeah, uh, cool paint and uh, sculpt to this figure. Really enjoy it. Um, yeah. Then the last one is Kingpin, which I use as the big boss uh, to the rest. And uh, really cool figure. Uh, I bought this off of eBay. That's why he has these like red marks, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, wish they weren't there. And uh, he also has a broken arm right here, so I can't turn or swivel. I guess like this, his right arm can. But yeah, cool figure. Uh, hope. Uh, Hasbro makes a modern uh, version of him, not specifically like Marvel Now type style, uh, but like 
a remake of this figure because it'd be really cool for like displays and stuff. Because uh, this one has a bit of like lacking articulation, you can't really move that up. And then he doesn't have like a swivel in his wrist and stuff. But yeah, uh, hopefully they do a Netflix or comic book version. Don't mind, I still buy it either way. But yeah, those are the thugs. And uh, now we're gonna do props. And I'll just. Alright, so these are kind of like used and stuff, so they do have scratches on them. As you can see with this one, I have to repaint them uh, soon because it'll get noticeable. So these are my oil. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Uh, these are my oil barrels, and, uh, yeah, these are made out of the slime, um, slime or slime, I forget what they're called, something slime, uh, yeah, these are made out of the slime bottle things, uh, they come with, it's this stuff, it's like, I don't know. It's like this slime stuff. You can buy it on eBay, Amazon, or something like that. Uh, they have it at some uh, food stores, kind of, in the toy aisle for, like, kids. Uh, yeah, they, this one, I think, was just green because I found it at, like, Stop and Shop. But you can buy these on Amazon, like, black, and then you can just give it a dry brush and then print some, like, hazardous waste oil type stuff and then glue it on. That's what I did. Uh, yeah, probably not the best work that could have been done, but, uh, those for my animations, so, yeah, that's cool. Uh, next is this coffee table for, oh, from Michael, uh, Michaels, I guess, with an S. Uh, they have this in, like, the, like, miniatures section, I don't know how to explain it, I, I don't think that's the right, uh, name for it but yeah they have a bunch of like miniature things that you could get uh they had this coffee table which was cool fits well in the scale with uh some with figures that's uh him with the cm punk so yeah just for a comparison i guess i'll have him sitting down is this palette that I made a few years back um, it's made out of balsa wood really messy here uh, this is broken on me a few times these parts um, it just came off this though I broke it on purpose for an animation to kind of make it look more realistic I'll play it right now so Yeah, so, uh, broke this for that, and, uh, yeah, uh, kind of made it look less noticeable, um, but yeah, that's what this is, uh, excuse me for my foul language, I, I'm just, I, I just curse every once in a while because it just comes out uh next is this 
trash can, um, trash bin, uh, bad rust, um, paint job, I know. Uh, but yeah, this came from a WWE figure, as you can see right here. Uh, this I had done like three years ago, three, four years ago. Uh, I repainted it and then used a trash bag type thing, added onto it, and yeah, I kind of use this in the background, don't really focus on it too much, but yeah, I'll just leave that there. Um, shit. Uh, next is um, this oh shit, toolbox from uh, Michael's. Uh, I'd actually dropped the all the tools in my little prop bin. Uh, but yeah, these come with like scissors, hammers, uh, saws and stuff. Cl the um, clips, clippers, not clippers. Um, uh, the word, the name escapes me. But yeah, this is in the miniature section. Section also. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, I guess I'll just go over this. Uh, this is a trash bag that I'd used, which is, uh, ripping on me. But this was basically made out of tissue, uh, curled it into a ball, and wrapped it in a, just a bag that they give at grocery stores, and it was black, so I was like, oh, looks like a trash can, trash bag. Uh, and then wrapped it with copper wire, I think. And then that's why I made this. So let's get the go there. And next is this box crate that I made. Uh, this is made using popsicle stick um, sticks. Um, and then I just cut them up. And then these are coffee sticks. They give at Starbucks, Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, and then cut those, and that's how I made this crate. And in here, this baseball bat is from an Arkham City inmate thug. Uh, he came with a bat, and I think this is for the orange-haired one. And the green one comes with a big knife. I may be wrong, but that's, I think, how it was. And then these notebooks are from Staples. Uh, they have, like, little thingies, like, in a bag. You can buy them. And then this is from the miniatures section from Michaels, also. Uh, this package box thing. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, most of the things that I use for props are made by me or uh, from Michaels, because, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave this here, up there, and this here. Next thing is this fire extinguisher. Which is from a WWE figure. Um, I think this was in a two pack with Kane and MVP. Uh, these are, this is an old uh, two pack, I think, from a few years ago. Um, yeah, I came with this fire extinguisher and I dry brushed silver on this stuff. Don't like how it came out on this, it came out really bad. But I like how it came out on the black. Uh, just leave that here. Let me see if I put that back. Oh, shit. And then this guitar is from a Woody figure. Uh, Toy Story. Um, with, it came with Woody. And I kind of just kept this guitar. Because, I don't know, I thought it fit well with the figure. So I'll just put that there. Uh, I guess the last thing, uh, I guess, or last two things is, uh, this 
these Coca-Cola bottles, or just cola bottles, um, these are sold at Michael's. Uh, there, there are also uh, wine bottles and soda cans. Uh, yeah, uh, they're sold separately. Not well, a pack because one is sodas, one is uh, soda cans, and then the other are wine bottles. So yeah, this is how they usually come with, with this, and then they come with a little tag thing. And the last thing is a tech deck, I guess. Um, this you could just use like in the background. Again, uh, I usually use this in the street. And uh, yeah, this I think was from a while back. Uh, my friend gave me a tech deck, and then I painted this as wood. Put used sandpaper, and I cut it out to use the, um, the surface feel to it. And yeah, these were original wheels from it and stuff. But yeah, uh, those are all my props that I use for my animations. Uh, hope this video was useful to some of you. Uh, yeah, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe, really helps me out. Uh, Next video is the Jessica Jones stop motion, which uh, will release soon. Just doing voice acting and stuff, uh, and it's co close to completion. Uh, it's been a little bit difficult because I've been sick recently. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by my voice. But yeah, that's what I've been up to, and uh, yeah, that's that's all. I guess um, more videos will, will be up soon I, I might do more of these small type uh, videos short ish this was like probably like 15 minutes maybe more uh, yeah I'll make more uh, let me know any suggestions for videos like uh, dioramas like show around my dioramas uh, figures custom figures cause I have made a few so if you guys want to want some reviews of that I'll let me know uh, or some tips and stuff but yeah I guess I'll end the video right now and uh, hope you guys enjoyed bye